wall over here. And, uh, I'm working my way into the States. But it's quite beautiful here. So we're going currently on westbound, going west on Highway 3. Uh, if you look at the map, we are, well, Calgary is north of us, north east of us at this point. We came out of Calgary and, uh, yeah. So there's a town up here.
I have motorcycle doors on right now. They're heavy. They're, they're not letting me, uh, it's not letting me, uh, like the wind's still blowing me around even though the motorcycle doors are in my trailer all loaded up and it's ready to go. You know how hard it is to uh, strap down them motorcycle doors? Them motorcycle doors are hard to strap down. They're worth a lot of money too. Yeah, not everybody has doors for their motorcycles. Do I need to say it? Do I really need to say it? I said that to a, custom, a customs officer one day. I got across the border and he said, uh, says, you're empty? And I says, no sir. I says, I got motorcycle doors on. And he goes, motorcycle doors? He goes, your ace manifest doesn't say anything. It doesn't say anything about that. Did you tell him? And I says, sir, I have motorcycle doors. And he goes, okay. So I says, you know how hard it is to strap down motorcycle doors? They don't down, they don't sit upright, they don't whatever. And he goes, okay, did you talk to customs? And I says, sir, stop and think about it for a slight second. And then he went, wait a minute, motorcycles don't have doors. I'm like, uh-huh. I said, now if I told you I had sailboat fuel or I had dispatcher brains, you'd know exactly what I was talking about, right? He goes, yeah. I'm like, well, there you go. Okay, so we have, uh, so one of these, here is a crow's nest. So see the mountain on your right-hand side? got a lot of sand and a lot of stuff down that way. It kind of slopes down. It's like it, so what had happened was they had, a, they had a slide there. So in 1903 they had a rock slide. Rock slide, that up there, that hill up there is called Turtle Mountain. And uh, they had a rock slide and the rock slide came down and it, it, uh, it covered a part of uh, a town called Frank's, Frank Town. And it killed anywhere between 70 and 90 people in that rock slide. And uh, so, and then they had in 1914, they had another incident, a mine disaster mine disaster that killed 189 people all in this area uh, so this is a lot of history in this area and uh, but yeah uh, the mountain on your right hand side the tall one you'll see I'll, I'll have the camera turned it's uh, the top of Turtle Mountain broke off and slid down, covering partial part of the uh, of the town. Can you imagine sitting at home or wherever, and in 1903, and all of a sudden the shit, the ground starts to shake. And you survive, but you look out, and there's a big couple of big chunks of rock, and you dry in your backyard, but your neighbors did not make it. That mountain that's right in front of us, right there, that's the one. The top slid, came down, and buried a quarter of the town. This one right here. You can kind of see it too, you can see where it slid down and that happened in 1903 now they have uh, and then 1914 they had that big mine uh, problem uh, mine collapse mine disaster and 189 people died there so this place has not seen a very it has not been uh, a good place to live. Look at all this. You can 
can see all the boulders. When it came down, it came down. And uh, they couldn't even go and grab the survivors or the people that were buried in their houses and all that stuff. They, they left them there. You couldn't do much about it. So, look at that. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that coming down? Do you, it's been over a hundred years. It's been 121 years now. And you can still see that. You can still see that. 121 years later, and this is what you can still see. And look. Look out there. You get all the rock debris and all that. That's all from that mountain slide down. Quarter of the town got buried here. 121 years ago. And they made a road right through it. That's all you need to do is look that up and all the information you 
cost you to think of on what had happened back in 1903 and then 1914. I imagine all that will be there. Now, kind of curious. There is, it is around here somewhere. It wasn't in Frank's town or Frank's city or Frank Frank's something, but it was close by here from people that I was talking to. But there was at uh, the big mine. Uh, disaster that killed 189 people. I think that's up here. I think they have a, a, a shrine uh, up here. I do believe it's up here somewhere. It's a shrine. Unless we already passed it. I'm not too sure. I do remember seeing uh, like a, a um, one of those baskets or those carts on, on train tracks or on tracks. Uh Unless it was somewhere else. I've seen them before, but I'm pretty sure they have something around here somewhere. But hopefully they learn. But that's like everything. You don't know what's gonna end up happening until it happens. We have better technology nowadays, so we can kind of figure out when the next uh, uh, St. Helens uh, volcano goes or whatever. You, I don't know about rock slides, if they can check that out or whatever. Uh, I'm going to unplug this because that's pretty bright. Um, but technology these days now might be able to help out. And if anything, then they can at least help. If disaster does happen, then we have the technology like helicopters and, and things like that that can kind of, you know, rescue people or help them or whatever. We have the machines to be able to get in, get into the ground and, and whatever, right? We got the we got the stuff that can do that. We really can't control what Mother Nature does, right? But, look at that scenery. I know we're a little crooked right now. Let's get you. Oh, it's not so crooked. There. Look at this tech, look at this technology. Look at this view. We are currently on Highway 3. We're not quite into BC yet. I'll check. It's kind of hard to, uh... According to this, we're not even at crow's nest, but that, that was back there. I guess crow's nest is still ahead, going to my phone. Maybe that's where the, uh, the mining town is. It's right up here. Or the mines that happened. Unfortunately, I can't do too much to uh, 
about the uh, bugs on the other side of the window. That's an interesting old uh, fifth wheel camper. This is definitely a uh, beautiful town to live in. I would think so. Great for tourists. I don't think it'd be too great to be in um, in here uh, winter time. And I've passed through here in the winter time. Imagine there's a lot of ski hills around here somewhere. Why not? We got the hills for it. Sorry. Let me rephrase that. Got the mountains for it. See? Some people say that the Pennsylvania is Pennsylvania mountains. But then you come into this area and those Pennsylvania mountains are really not mountains, they're just hills. These things are mountains. These are mountains. Some of these are touching the, the clouds. These are mountains. And these are still not as big as the ones, the Rocky Mountains. Which these are kind of part of the Rocky Mountains, really. They are. Are the edges of the, of the Rocky Mountains. Now, that's a nice little campground. Wow. From the view that they have there, man.